Hi, I'm Lily James from the movie Yesterday. Um, I'm here to answer some very British problems from Reddit. <laughs> The first one is the feeling of utter devastation when you pick up your mug and realise you already finished your tea, which is utterly devastating in every sense. But what I think perhaps is even worse, which is, happens to me more often, is when you go to sip your tea and you've left it too long and it's cold. That I can't actually recover from for, 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 for most of the day. Now, if you have already finished your tea, you just have to get your housekeeper to make you another one. <laughs> Having to loudly tap your finger on the cash machine <laughs> so the person behind knows it's the machine that's being slow and not you. Yeah, that's very important just to let everyone know. But also my problem tends to be not to make it all about me is that I just get my code wrong so many times and keep taking my card in and out that people realise. So then you really have to overact, give it a tap, a kick, and then if all else fails, just, you know, run away. Getting off the train after a long and expensive return train journey and realising that no one at any point checked your ticket. I guess it's good to be honest though, it's good to pay for our travel, it's sh** enough as it is. <laughs> they need all the money they can get, Southwest trains. Not knowing whether your clothes are still wet or just cold when hung out on the washing line. That is very difficult indeed because it's very hard to tell and you don't really realise till you've had it on for a while and then you realise you're sort of damp and you begin to smell like a wet dog. Also, equally hard is knowing whether you need to wash it or not and I'm constantly just uh, sniffing my boyfriend's armpits to tell him whether it's... <laughs> if it smells clean or not. Failing to introduce yourself to the new person at work within the first few days, then having to completely avoid them for the rest of your working relationship. This happens to me a lot, it's really tough. Um, I would say avoid all eye contact, which I tend to do anyway. Yeah, there's that old chestnut where you go, oh, always say nice to see you just in case you've met them before. I have no memory, so I can't ever remember anyone's names or faces. I barely remember my family. Yeah.